the long run was built starting 1712, it took 20 years. And this was to house collections that the college already owned. They'd been either donated or bequeathed. And so they were 15th to 18th century books at that time. The collections were kept together and often the name of the donor is in gilt lettering above. That was put in in the early 1770s. By the end of the 1850s, the long room was pretty full. So they raised the roof and shelved the gallery to create more space. And so the gallery houses mostly 19th century books, not least because the 1801 Copyright Act entitled Trinity to a copy of every single book published in the British Isles. So obviously, the shelves were filling up much more quickly than they had done beforehand. The building house is a huge variety of languages and of subjects, and you might expect them to be shelved by subject, but no, I wouldn't fancy fetching a book this size off the top of a ladder. So they're by height. The bays are lettered from the east end of the building to the west, with single letters one side and double the other. The shelves in the long room are lettered from the ground upwards, and on the gallery they're numbered and the books are numbered from one at the centre of the room out to the edges. You may have noticed there's no letter J and no U, and that's because in Latin, I and J were interchangeable, and so were U and V.